Delgado Keys number 15 Seton Hall over St. Peter's. App, after playing solid defense in a win over Virginia Commonwealth last Saturday, Seton Hall coach Kevin Willard knew that his 15th ranked Pirates had to keep up the pressure against old time New Jersey rival St. Peter's. I thought if we could get them a little out of the rhythm, we'd be in good shape. Willard said after his team held the Peacocks to just one field goal among their first 12 shots in an easy 84-61 win at the Old Walsh Gym on the campus of Seton Hall. We played a little zone to make it difficult for them to shoot, Willard said. I loved the way we came out and played defensively. The Pirates' stifling defense enabled them to take an 8-0 lead and cruise from that point on. Seton Hall managed to push St. Peter's farther and farther away from the basket with every possession. It was the same intensity that we had against VCU, Willard said. St. Peter's likes to be able to run their own stuff and we didn't let them do it, said senior forward Angel Delgado who scored a game-high 18 points and grabbed 11 rebounds, the 57th time in his career that Delgado has registered double figures in both categories. They couldn't run anything. I think we set the tone defensively, said senior Desi Rodriguez, who continued his fine play with 17 points. We were able to close out, defend their shots and we were able to make some runs. Kadeen Carrington added 11 points and 5 assists, as Seton Hall, 9-1, raced out to an early lead and never looked back, winning for the 20th time in the last 21 meetings against the Peacocks, 4-5. Davonte Turner scored 13 points and Nick Griffin had 9 to pace St. Peter's. After Elijah Gonzalez drained a three-pointer to pull the Peacocks within 35-23, the Pirates scored the last seven points of the first half, capped by a layup by Delgado with 42 seconds remaining, giving Seton Hall a commanding 42-23 halftime lead. Rodriguez paced the Pirates with 11 first-half points. Seton Hall scored the first four points after the break to take a 46-23 lead. Freshman Miles Gale nailed a long three-pointer, then threw down a monstrous windmill dunk off a steal to push the lead to 61-38, causing St. Peter's to call another timeout with 10-29 left. Seton Hall held a commanding 43-27 advantage on the boards. St. Peter's coach John Dunn came away impressed with the Pirates. We had Terry Dahiri, Seton Hall's all-time leading scorer, in for a practice and I said to him that this was the best Seton Hall team since he was there, Dunn said. I don't get overly impressed by watching other teams, but I'm impressed with these guys. They have all the pieces. They play unselfishly and share the ball. It wasn't like we lost to a bad team. We just got stopped by them from the start. It was the 88th meeting between the New Jersey rivals, dating to 1931-32. Seton Hall leads the all-time series 64-24 and has won 20 of the last 21 meetings. St. Peter's lone win in recent years came in 2013, winning 83-80 in overtime. The programs met every year since the 1949-50 season before taking a one-year hiatus last year. The Pirates are the only Division I team to have three players who have scored 1,000 or more points during their career and all three, Rodriguez, Delgado and Carrington. All reached double figures Tuesday night. 
Dunn was an assistant coach at Seton Hall from 2001 through 2006 under then head coach Louis Orr. It was the 57th time in Delgado's Seton Hall career that he collected double figures in points and rebounds, the top figure in the nation. Delgado led the nation in rebounding last season, grabbing 13.1 per game. Delgado is the only active Division I player with more than 1,000 career points and 1,000 career rebounds. 15 ranking in the latest app poll is the highest for the program since January. Seton Hall, Tuesday night marked Seton Hall's 26th consecutive win against non-conference teams at home. The Pirates improved to 422-142 inside Walsh Gym on the Seton Hall campus. Seton Hall plays its home games at the Prudential Center in Newark. St. Peter's, the young Peacocks return only one key player, graduate student Nick Griffin, from the team that won 23 games and captured the College Insider.com Tournament Championship last year. Fellow graduate student Numtian Ekenya was also a member of that team that tied the school record for wins in a season. Up next, the Pirates travel down the New Jersey Turnpike to take on state rival Rutgers and Piscataway on Saturday in the Garden State Hardwood Classic. The Peacocks stay on the road and head to Lou Brooklyn on Sunday at the Barclays Center. 